Hi, and welcome back to Logarithm Security Spotlight. This series is designed to provide quick visibility and understanding into the ways you can leverage the Logarithm platform against a variety of threats. Today's Spotlight is a quick overview of some typical suspicious or malicious command line parameters. This Spotlight is based around a thought experiment that has resurfaced and been doing the rounds on social media over the past couple of months. There are a wide variety of very common malicious activities that can be undertaken leveraging command line by the attackers. And the idea of the thought experiment was what is the most comprehensive search an analyst could run if they only had a single chance to do so. How many different potential components can be encompassed within a single search or alert query to give you as an analyst the best possible chance to spot the needle in the haystack? After a bit of crowdsourcing, a group developed a large Sigma query to look for exactly that premise, which we've linked in the description below. Obviously, this kind of thought experiment is useful in improving knowledge and skills for analysts, but implementing search or alert queries can also be a useful tool to surface activity as potential indicators of compromise or attack. Examples of the kind of activity this approach is looking for include mimicats, encrypted PowerShell commands, and also common indicators of attackers attempting to persist within the target system. All of these indicators are the kind of thing you would want to be aware of as a security function, as generally they're not acceptable best practice within a secure environment. Command line activity as a potential attack vector has been around essentially since the start of computing and the binary defender attacker paradigm we're still in today. The thought experiment is likely as old, but the rule set we're working with was initially developed in 2019 and has been updated as recently as August 2022. The co-pilot team decided to take this thought experiment and create a non-alerting alarm rule within Logarithm. This would enable a customer to build the rule and create dashboards monitoring for the specific events without necessarily flooding their, their alerting structures with potential false positives. The rule works by breaking down the larger Sigma rule into its component parts and then building regex to look for the individual indicators within Windows logging. Alongside this, in the community link provided, there's a list of pre-built searches you can run directly within the Logarithm web console to enable you to do historical analysis on your logs just in case this activity has been seen before you activated the rule itself. Indeed, for a lot of organisations, leveraging these searches as saved searches and then performing them on a weekly or a monthly basis may well be the best approach. As with all advanced Windows monitoring rules, you're going to need to go further than just standard Windows security logging to include sysmon logging as well. If you want more information about how to enable this rule within your login and deployment, the link in the description will take you to our community page. Alternatively, please reach out to your aligned sales engineer or co-pilot and they'll be happy to assist you. Finally, we've also provided links to useful blogs and other videos that outline various things discussed in this video in more detail should you want to continue your reading. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Please check back next week, same time, for another of Logarithm's Security Spotlights.